Virtus Pro's CS team is impossible to hate. Completely deconstructing Fnatic here, then that's <laughs> <laughs> The Polish roster was one of the most beloved in Counter-Strike. They defined an era through their skill and their personalities. The team stuck together for four years, through the good times and the bad. But now, it's all over. Yeah, that's it, the missed shot. Get Right comes in and smashes Snacks against the wall. That's the end of VP here. Really, I think the story is certainly gonna fall onto VP and what really is gonna be, you know, their future. Yeah, what is going to happen next? for Curtis Pro. Good things come, and good things go. Hey, but before we get into it, if you want a cool The Score Esports branded shirt like the one I'm wearing, or plenty of others like it, you can find them in the Score Esports online merch department. You'll find a link in the comments below. They're going to go to the Last Chance Salute. I have no words so far for the performance of Virtus Pro. They are playing the perfect Counter-Strike game. Virtus Pro's Polish roster was one of the longest standing five-man squads in CSGO. Made up of a handful of players from a legendary 1.6 roster nicknamed the Golden Five, they were signed by VP early on in CSGO's lifespan and earned a new nickname, the Virtus Plow. Yeah, I think when you look at Virtus Pro, it was just, it was a combination of things. Main one for me, was how they played as a team. They had like really strong team play. Like, people would always talk about the plow and their T side. Well, that comes from them being a very well-oiled machine. It's not entirely clear where the name came from. We, we call them the Virtus Plow for a reason because it's nearly impossible to stop them when they get going. But the most scary aspect is every now and then a different Virtus Pro appears. They bottle the lightning and suddenly they are unstoppable. This is the Virtus Plow everyone talks about. But for the most part, the Virtus Plow worked in tandem with the Virtus Throw. They were a legendarily inconsistent team, either plowing over their opponents like it was nothing, or losing to them so badly it was almost like they were throwing. It's 11-2, this is getting to uh, the point of no return, I have to say. It is a T-side map for sure, and VP, definitely no slouches on their T-side. Okay then, well, 14-8, Hellraisers are somehow making a convincing case of this. He's evaded him, it's <laughs> going to be a situation. Oh, stay alive, don't lose the weapon. Even worse, insult to injury, how's the salt, how's the wound, bleed it out, don't care, you just lost a 12 3 half after winning the pistol in the second as well, Virtus Pro. Oh dear. This is awful. Miali's gonna try and put this into overtime, but in all fairness, the game should have been done ages ago. Hellraisers with an incredible comeback for what, the sixth time from a 12 3 half this year, that is just unbelievable. 12 3, and you win the pistol, 13 3 up, and you lose. 16-14. Aliens. <laughs> yeah, <I get> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh. The Plow featured Pasha Biceps, Taz, Neo, Snacks, and Bialy. It remained unchanged for years, aside from a few temporary stand-ins from fellow Poles Mishu, Morels, Mints, and Olafmeister? Yes, Olafmeister is here. Alright. <laughs> Guys, can we use one more stand-in? <laughs> The team first started playing together under ESC Gaming in 2013. From there, the roster signed with Universal Soldiers before playing under the Again banner, one that previously hosted the Golden Five. Virtus Pro already had a CSGO roster, one good enough to end NIP's 87 map lane win streak, but they dropped it in 2013. In January 2014, Virtus Pro signed the entire Again roster when they decided to make another run in CSGO. The team was known for their very strong T side and their incredible teamwork. Here comes Forrest! No. Neo got, drops the key man in that B site. And Virtus Pro are going to win themselves this next round. And it's 13 9. They now need just three to be the EMS champions. Virtus Pro have Neo in the bomb site trying to pop. Bialy puts a headshot on to exist. And it's Bialy to hold on to that site with the help of Snack. Bash is there as well. And NIP have to save five match points. Their CS skills may have been what built up those five lovable poles reputation, but it was their personalities that kept the fans coming back. At their peak, they were playing the absolute best CS, but their valleys didn't really look that good. 
Everyone knows when uh, the group stage for us is uh, very hard every time, but uh, when we uh, pass the groups, we always show our best. DreamHack Winter 2013 was the first ever CSGO major, and of course, the core's first major together. The Poles showed up under that Universal Soldiers tag and left the tournament with a 9th 12th finish. But they rebounded. In only three months, they went from that underwhelming performance to the top of the CS world. And he'll push into CT's board, and he'll look for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, have no doubt, Neo is back in business. Snacks gets the next one, Get Right goes down, NIP have two on five. They are in real trouble here. As Virtus Pro, they won their first major together at ESL1 Katowice on home turf. And their path to the finals was anything but easy. In the playoffs, they had to play against the French powerhouse Team LDLC, and then the Swedish Giants, LGV Esports. And it's gonna get one, and can he be the man who sends Virtus Pro into, into the, the final? It is Taz, it is Virtus Pro, and he waves goodbye to the Swedes as Virtus Pro emerges victorious 16 7 to maps to one. The home crowd favorites are roaring into the final of the grand stage tomorrow, where they will face the world number one team in NIP. In the grand finals, VP made a light work of NIP, right in the middle of that Swedish roster's period of dominance. It's Freiburg still in there though, Freiburg's not gone. And he will show himself at the right moment, which is a headshot onto Bialy. He will eventually go down at the hands of Pasha. They're three francs away now, Virtus Pro, as they will move the bomb in. And it'll be Fifth Laren and Exist to come charging in. And Snacks to go mowing them down. One more will do it for Virtus Pro. It's all on Forest. He gets the first. He doesn't get the second. That was just a masterclass from Virtus Pro. Look at that, they are extremely happy NIP. They are even happier knowing that they totally outplay NIP. That was a Nimitz game. And look at that, the whole crowd is a whole standing invasion. Virtus Pro now had a major win under their belt, solidifying their legacy early on in CSGO's history. But their impressive win in Katowice aside, VP's out-of-game personalities almost eclipsed their CS play. Through their memorable quotes, hilarious Twitch streams, and on-camera antics, VP created a connection with CS fans all around the world. Pasha, what's going through your head right now? I dream about Lamborghini. <laughs> Congratulations and best of luck in that semifinal match. One more. One more, one more. One more. If you want to learn English like me, go to Pasha London School. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Congratulations again. That's when I'm at my best. But my boys today played fuck super awesome. You know the word, right? I know the word, it's uh, you know, family show. Yeah. But if you're waiting, I have a system. If you're waiting in AWP like sniper, waiting, waiting, smoke is off, Psh, bye bye Nico. Nico, you can come in and say if you if you agree or disagree if you'd like. Waiting in the smoke with top? <laughs> That's bad counter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck but with Papa. Works. Don't fuck with Papa. Pasha is the best known of the five. Boasting a stream packed with memorable quotes and moments, his role as the team's primary opera is almost a side note, as he's often seen as the face of the team. He also knows how to rock the camp. One versus five, he's even being ring around the rosy here. Pasha's waiting. Oh, don't do it. Pasha, that's so cruel. He nice Plasha. And that will be it. If they weren't already winning, if they weren't already completely deconstructing Fnatic here, then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> completely styling on Fnatic. Pasha is a family man. His love for his family comes before anything else, and that's part of his appeal. But the rest of the team were just as memorable. 1.6 Legends, Neo, and Taz had been playing together since 2004. The original Golden 5 that was created in 2006, we've been playing together for like three and a half years, and now it's already four. We've never been that together for that long. Uh, and I've been playing with Taz since 2004, and that's just that's just crazy. Pasha joined us in 2010, so we're like family. Neo was considered one of the best 1.6 players of all time, often competing with Forrest for that top spot. He had such an influence on CS that the mouse he helped design with Zowie is considered standard equipment for both Pug stars and top players. He captained Virtus Pro during their major win and all those premier tournament victories over the years. 
He's lost Crims, he's in the corner trap. It's a one on two, they're coming in from either side, and JW in so much trouble, he's gonna go down, and that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Versus Pro with 16 rounds, they are your E-League Season 1 Grand Champions. How fitting to see Neo lift that trophy as well. <laughs> it's been so long, they've been in a slump. They've been working hard tirelessly, the longest standing roster in CSGO today. They've been together nearly three years. When other teams decide to change it up, no, BP, they stick together, they work it all out, and now they're standing at the top again. Taz also assisted in the IGL duties and brought a level of leadership to the team. Come on, guys, it was a great match. You have to cheer for both teams in great matches like that. Talk me through, what was it like to play? It was hard mentally to play that game, but uh, we... Guys, please respect for the finalists, second finalists, please respect them. Amazing words from Taz, amazing words, that's what makes this sport great. Snacks and Miali were a young, unproven talent when they joined the team, but have certainly carved their own legacies since then. In the end, to just Snacks, does find one. Oh, no. Let's not leave him out of this. The big apple and Snacks is hungry, he's got one kill already on the USP. Low HP as well on Guardian and Flamey. He's trying to bait them out, trying to get them into one-on-ones as he dances back and forth between the box. What a shot on Simple! Oh, Guardian, bye-bye! And it's on to Flamey. He's tapped it. Flamey's got a big... What in God's name is that from Snacks? Unbelievable! I've never seen anything like it. What the hell was that? Going into the map, essentially playing a retake on the A bomb site. We'll see. It looks like that's what VP are up to here. Forklift headshot from... Bialy onto Pronax and he's looking for more. They're getting close now. He's got one more shot. He's gonna get it on all of us. Oh my god, Bialy, you've gotta be kidding! It's a quad kill. He takes down all of Fnatic, and that just might be VP in the grand finals. That is Look Bialy's at that. Spot. But despite some slumps in the years following their major win, VP did have some success stories too. They were always able to get it done in Europe, with first place finishes at Star Ladder I League Invitational 1 and Copenhagen Games 2015. There's gonna be a man in library, but Simic has no idea. The peak is gonna come, and just like that, both kills. And Virtus Pro, after losing to NIP last year, have come back to Copenhagen Games to reclaim a title. VP took first place finishes at E League Season 1, DreamHack Bucharest 2016, and DreamHack Las Vegas 2017. And VP always showed up at the majors, usually placing third, fourth, but even reaching as high as second at the E League Atlanta Major. But for a team so used to success, so proven on the game's biggest stages, the slumps were pretty hard to overlook. The big problem Virtus Pro faces is that at the moment, even they're living off the storyline. Like they want to say, well, we always find a way to come back. You know, when it's the big game, we always turn up again. But it's never been as bad as this. Like in the past when they had slumps, it was mainly online tournaments, or it was the odd offline tournament. They're looking at a solid, well, they're talking like four or five months since they were actually relevant as a team that could win a big tournament. And now they're trying to win the biggest. After Atlanta, Virtus Pro were relegated out of the ESL Pro League and into the Mountain Dew League, which was a massive deal. They were forced to play with academy teams and tier two squads, becoming only the second major winning roster to do so after Gambit. And even outside of Pro League, VP kept performing very poorly. Their only win after relegation came from the Adrenaline Cyber League, a small four-team Russian LAN event. Their next large event was ESL One Clone 2017, where they placed 15th, 16th. With the Krakow Major just around the corner, VP had just one chance left to show signs of life. From Pasta, you need to bring it back. Snacks has to get over there to help him out. Eventually, Pasta will find the kill. Six to six. We're all tied up here in the first half on Hoop. Second match of this quarterfinal, VP in the lead 1-0. The team surprised everyone, making it all the way to semis in front of their home crowd. It was seen as a glimmer of hope. I don't think we have ever in esports had a crowd like this. So sick. Somebody on VP is going to get impatient. Well, that works. Actually, there's the flash. The first kill. Neo gets the second as well. The headshot on MSL. And AZ now. 1v3. It's going to happen. It is over. Curtis Pro goes to the semifinals here in the Krakow Arena. Maybe VP had what it took to make a comeback. 
Maybe they were in just one of their characteristic slumps and they'd make their way back up to the top of the CSGO world. Only a few months later, they placed second at Epicenter 2017 and the Starladder I-League Invitational 2, which lent some credence to that theory. But it wouldn't last. Their results started to slip and VP entered another one of their classic slumps. But this time, they couldn't pull out. 2018 started with a weak 15th, 16th finish at the Boston Major. And there's the last player, Pasha, in the red. There he goes, and there they go. Virtus Pro have been eliminated from the Major, and Cloud9 are fighting for survival. We can see, you know, the history between the two teams. It's going to mean a lot for Cloud9. Some members of the community had long been saying that it was time for a change on VP's roster, but the team was reluctant to do it. Finally, though, after months of poor results, the team started to fall apart in February 2018. In the last past years, uh, it was good. Sometimes it was uh, better, sometimes it was uh, shit. Uh, we break our schedule uh, in the last year and two years ago. We did like different things like we usually did. And so uh, this is my main, like, my main point why we lost, why we start losing. We have uh, like this experience. Uh, we are struggle a lot of times. So if we win uh, one event with Mihu, we come back and we will be in the top teams like for a, for a while. VP benched Taz in February. It was the first major roster move the lineup had made since they became Virtus Pro. He left the team in March and went on to captain another Polish squad, Team Kingwood. Shortly after that, the team removed Snacks. He joined Mao Sports for a time, but has since become a free agent. And prior to the London Major, the team announced that regardless of the outcome, it would be Bialy's last tournament with the team. And with that, the Virtus Plow family that we all came to know and love came to an end. It was an end of an era for the Polish brothers. To be honest, uh, we need five of the guys who uh, wake up in, uh, you know, in, in positive energy, like uh, individual skill in the highest level. Not three people play play good. We need five five guys who is in the top level, counters right these days, and need to show you know the best everything. If we need to play in the final in the stadium, we need to show the best counter strike in the world. Neo and Pasha are the last remaining members of VP's original lineup. But even Pasha, whose play has begun to slip, has hinted that he's ready to leave if things don't change. Uh, you know, it, uh, it will be nice to go back to the, to the Legends, uh, to once again have a Legend status. Who knows, maybe it will be my, my last one. Starting something is sent, right? Maybe this uh, will be like a good decision. Uh, I'm thinking about it you know, right, right now, in a, every day, every morning, every afternoon. Right now it's a hard decision, so, but still, uh, this is in my head. Don't, can't, can't, can't stop about thinking about it. Despite some new talent, the team just isn't the same and hasn't been able to find that old VP success since making those roster moves. They placed dead last at the London Major and haven't been able to put up a notable result at a premier tournament since. No matter how you look at it, this is the end of an era. Versus Pro are eliminated from the Major in London and North will continue on for now at the very least. Another page in the book for Versus Pro, but this chapter is closed. Virtus Pro was the longest standing CSGO roster, and they brought the community years of laughter and heartwarming moments. We are like family, we won't change uh, lineup. Yeah, like I said, we are family, so that makes us uh, better than other teams, I think. We, we know each other a long time now, so uh, like I said, I think it's an advantage for us. Don't care about everything. Love, sport, family, Esport, sometimes vodka. You catch up on all of the esports news, and my friend <laughs> is, <laughs> is out of there. <laughs> See, See you later, later dude. See you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Dude, yeah, you just just walk. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Now the team coming to the hell in Katowice. You win hell. You're coming. You're coming, and we winning. We can uh, we can uh, go to the Pasha London School yeah, in Katowice. It's private private lessons in our room. You can always come. I feel like I'm surrounded by like, three jokes and Neo just like the kids are at it again. Neo, have you got any final words? I have nothing to add. Through it all, those five players stuck together. Whether they find success on their new teams or not, the magic that gave us the plow is well and truly gone. But for the fans who loved Virtus Pro, the ride was worth it all.
Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.